I'm at the Brewer House again. Um, I'm here to talk to Adam Stancer. I came to look at his paintings a while ago. Adam, can you tell me a little bit about how you get inspired? Um, well, I, I, I suppose that, that visions just come to me. Uh, uh, visions in my head. I've, I've got an overactive imagination. I know how that works. And it, it flickers a lot. So things that come to me aren't fully formed. Right. They're just like a moment that comes and goes. So I've got the idea in my head and then uh, I've got to reconstruct it, right. do research, get photographs done, um, you know, go, maybe go out somewhere to get the photographs I need. Um, and then usually I, I work on Photoshop and I construct it that way. And um, then painting is a new experience again. It's uh, that that it's um, uh, it's quite a spiritual experience, right. really. Yeah. It, uh, have you always painted? Um, I've always drawn from a, lot, a young age. I suppose I only took up painting um, probably about 16 or something. Right. There, there was um, a magazine out discovering the great paintings and I collected all these and this is what really inspired, inspired me, particularly Although you, you won't see it in the work, particularly Van Gogh and Monet were the first people that just started something. And then if you actually try to do it yourself, you, you get a, a deeper understanding of it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, your artwork is, I mean, some of it's extremely emotional. Yeah, and a lot to do with some of them. I notice a lot are, are, are about people who are in probably poverty or yeah. struggling. How do you get inspired by that? Is it people you meet? Well, I guess we're all we're all in this world where we know everything in the news and everything. We're all in this hurricane, aren't we? And. Um, I don't know, it's hard not to be affected by these things. And then you, you see people sleeping rough on the streets when you go into town. And, uh. So, um, when, when, when you finish a painting, do you, have, do you have to stand there and go, I can't believe I've done that? Or does it, um, does it sort of look at you, look at it, and you go, wow, I can't believe I've finished this? Well, it's, it's, it's weird because sometimes I feel blind to them. Right. People react to them and they say, right. that's great, but I can't. Other times, uh, particularly when I'm involved with them, they seem alive, like real things. Right. But then I can look at them at another time later, I get them out, and I haven't got that feeling. It's mm. quite, quite sad, actually. Yeah. Do you, do you feel like it's kind of a loss when you finish something? You're sort of like, I've, I didn't really want to finish it? Um, I suppose so, yeah. yeah. Now, I know you're going, to be, you're going to be giving some of the proceeds from the sales of these to charity, right? Yeah. What charity is it going to? It's the YMCA okay. Homeless Charity right. uh, in Burton. Uh, many years ago, I did the, uh, a sleep out thing. It, to raise funds for the charity and um, I, I was just taken how how they really wanted to help people and they set up the um, connect building in Burton to help people and um, it, 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 it was just really inspiring. Right. Hopefully you'll raise a lot of money because yeah. I mean the work is phenomenal. Thank you. I'll be buying one if I can afford. <laughs> if I can afford the price, to, <laughs> I'll be buying one. <laughs> but yeah, I wish you the best of luck with it. Mate. I'm going to wander around and check out the rest of the, the pieces. But it's phenomenal work. Thank Great you. stuff. Thank and you. it's good to meet you.
So okay. I'm, I'm happy. Cool, man. Well, have a good night tonight. I hope a lot of people come and see it. I hope you sell a lot of pieces. Thank you. So hopefully we'll see you somewhere else sometime down the road. Yeah. Another gallery, maybe? Yeah. London? <laughs> maybe. Hey. Okay. Thanks, Adam. Thank Thanks you. a lot, mate.